Namaste, so family. So, some more astrological predictions. Um, the human DNA is also going to undergo a metamorphosis. And this is... Um, this is something that's being allowed by the higher ups, the primordial beings, whether it's to um, humanity's detriment, yes or no, because it is not everything that these beings they actually reveal to us, okay? To us intuitives, to us um, elders, to us um, occultists, um, illuminates, holders of the light. It's not everything that we know. And so a lot of people. Um, who are small-minded, who do not understand um, the value and importance of information. They think that when you say you're an intuitive, when we say we are intuitives, we're saying we know everything. We don't. We know only enough, we only know well enough for a particular purpose. And we will not know beyond that purpose or, or purpose, okay? And therefore, you know, intuitive readings, they're not for everybody because small-minded, one-track-minded uh, people, they don't understand information, okay? So the, you, the, the human DNA is, it's, I don't want to say it's, it's um, due a metamorphosis, but if you want to call it that because this is destined, okay? So however this is going to happen, this can happen through um, viruses. Um, because like people think that, I'm going to use what um, that guy that I was watching on YouTube, that, that um, vlogger guy, what he said, um, or that vlogger guy, I'm going to use what he said. I'm going to call it Vaseline, okay? But you know what I mean to say, okay? Is that the A C C word, okay? I'm trying. I'm not gonna use it in my videos, um, for legal reasons. I'm not gonna talk about it. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it Vaseline, okay? <laughs> like he did, <laughs> okay? I might I might uh, put a link to his YouTube channel be below so you really understand what it is I'm trying to. Um, what it is that I'm really saying if you have not yet picked up on what I mean by Vaseline, okay? But these aren't the only, um, I'm going to say chemicals that changes our bodies because a chemical, it does one main characteristic of a chemical, whether you, you knew this or not or accept this or not, they cause changes, whether they clean up or they corrupt or you know it's a balance but they cause changes and these vaselines they're not the only <laughs> chemical that changes the human dna um viruses they also change the human dna okay and that's why you get sick when you contract viruses okay and so um a lot of people they're skeptical about the vaselines okay but either way, the human DNA is going to undergo a form of metamorphosis. And I was talking about the change in, in beauty standards. And I was also talking about um, some people, their skin complexion is going to get lighter. Some, there's, are going to get, there's, um, their skin complexion is going to get darker. And this is a part of the whole metamorphosis um, process, okay? Um also the internet is gonna crash guys it is gonna crash and this is something you can definitely expect next year we, the energies are seeping in from this year pretty much you can tell get a gist of what's gonna come in the next year the coming year by certain events that you see unfolding in the current year the present okay and so for next year they're, the internet is going to crash for various reasons, okay? Overload because of the online classes, which cannot be avoided right now. And it's just what's meant to be. One thing leads to another. It's the domino effect. It's the butterfly effect, okay? 
but also a lot of scamming a lot of hackers hacking into banking institutions hacking into people's accounts it's just gonna be a whole heap of it's just gonna be a big uproar and that's why i said in the previous video um what's the previous one or the one not the one about jay-z and beyonce the stargazing video i'm talking about um the other astrological predictions there are two parts to this one um I, I made mention of this in it that um pretty much children are gonna have to be homeschooled by parents or guardians okay yeah parents and guardians parents and or guardians okay and that's how it's gonna be um there's gonna be an overcrowding of um in the prison system that's another thing to look out for for next year um definitely definitely that's gonna happen so you better expect that also what's gonna happen is is she putting now because people a lot of people have been doing a lot of um um unethical things and they're they're you know deemable to you know for these people to be prosecuted and imprisoned and a lot of scamming a lot of stealing a lot of um public mischief these people they're going to be sent to prison like people when i say public mischief i'm not talking about you voicing your opinion on social media that's freedom of speech okay i'm talking about people going to police stations courthouses making false reports against people there are lots of false reports being made against people especially where um uh children advocacy is concerned child care is concerned false reports to the cps false reports to the police stations to the judiciary system to the courthouses trying to take away people's children because they're jealous and they're very mischievous and manipulative we see that manifesting even with the britney spears situation and they've been scamming her for a while and it's not gonna end here she's gonna sue them after the um conservative conservatorship um is completely lifted which i already said it's gonna happen because what has been going on with um to her what they've been doing to her what's been going on with her has been just very unethical illogical unfair and just very unscrupulous it just makes sense that these it's just so obvious that these people were scamming her and she's about to turn 40 she's most of her life she's lost so much of her freedom because of hateful people she's lost so many years that she could have spent with her children because of hateful people and you say that you love people and you want to lock them down in prison that's not lo what love is you love is you supporting them and ensuring that okay she is she has so much love and support around her when she doesn't see the need to take her own life to hurt herself or to even hurt her children if she was gonna even do that even if if she had the intentions to which we we don't we didn't see that okay and so you know when people they really love people okay love covers a multitude of sin and it's true you have a lot of people you know they're so quick to tell people a lot of nasty things about us and you know that's because they don't love us they're jealous and a lot of these things they're not even true and then when we start to talk out against them and speak the truth against them it's like they're trying to use this the scripture which they never you know put into practice to begin with i mean like why are you telling me that love covers a multitude of sin and you didn't think about that when you were scandalizing me and you were telling people all kinds of uh false news and all kinds of you know um lies about me telling people i'm a this i'm a that and that's not true and now i start to out you you're saying I'm cruel, I don't have any love, I'm ungrateful, I'm this and that. No. You are a narcissist. Okay, so um, after the con um, conservatorship is ended, um, it's fully lifted and it's completely ended, which is going to happen because it's time. You don't have anything to do with witchcraft, sorcery, voodoo, whatever you want to do behind the scenes, your spell magic, blah, blah, blah. That's not going to work. There's a time when certain things, they don't work anymore because certain other things have to manifest. And it's time for her to get her freedom and get her life back. And they're going to, she's going to sue them. 
after it's completely lifted and she's done with that um part of you know um the problem she's gonna sue them her father her sister she's gonna sue them i don't um i'm not sure who else she's gonna sue but she's gonna sue them okay definitely her sister definitely her father yeah yeah so um it's, it's gonna be a very a time of uh it's this 12 year cycle is gonna be a very uh minimalistic time it's it's gonna be a time of poverty if you want to call that but a very minimalistic way of living okay so um the internet is gonna crash like i said um pretty much so yeah it is what it is um pretty much you're just gonna be left to your own thoughts and your own emotions and a lot of um, a lot of problem with the uh, telecommunications uh, networks too. They're gonna experience uh, extended periods of, of of being down. People not being able to send out calls or receive calls. That's gonna really happen. So it's like the world is gonna be kind of de detached. The countries are gonna be detached, and you know, you know, just yeah. Everybody's like every man for themselves. No more U.S. aid, no more salvation, or um, no more salvation army, no more of that. Okay, because people are gonna have each country; they're gonna have their own issues to deal with. Okay, it is it is the truth. That's what's coming in. A lot of blackouts. I spoke about this. I think I mentioned that blackouts, you know, throughout the world. Yeah, a lot of darkness physical darkness and it's so that you can you know rekindle that fire within you if you got it if you got the passion to rekindle it and you know to you know in, cause it to you know inflame or to cause it to you know grow some of some people they don't there's only darkness inside of them and so in the darkness they're too gonna be dark and that's why I said a lot of people are gonna commit suicide hangman frequency they're gonna hang themselves because a lot of people comfortability is all that they know and they never allow themselves to get com uh, comfortable in discomfort or in lack but it's gonna happen it's gonna happen this 12 year cycle it will so many people are gonna lose lose loved ones a lot of people they're gonna lose their mothers and most of these mothers are you know old mothers like baby boomers like women in their you know 40s 50s um 60s 70s 80s a lot of those mothers are going to pass and die a lot of people are going to lose their wives as well so they always say that there are more women than men i guess it's kind of like balancing the skills so a lot of the feminine energy is going to pass away mothers wives yeah in child's birth of old age of sicknesses ailments crime and violence yeah crime and violence so yeah a lot of death that could have been saying Of course these new babies are going to be born they're going to be born of you know having a different you know dna because like i said it's not just the vaseline it's just everything else the virus is you know you know people feeling stressed and it's like we're going back to that frequency of the great depression and even worse let me just say that and this is going to really just affect people who who are so attached to vanity okay children being born with um with deformities mental ailments and that's why i said it's not a good time to get knocked up it's not a good time to get pregnant i'm not saying all the children are going to be born with deformities or mental ailments but most because of the stress of uh, and the distress of the parents you know yeah masculines and feminines yeah it's going to pass through their dna yeah, through their DNAs and other factors. But like those who 
hold out and who are strong and you know strong enough to really you know and who are who are like the yonder dogs those of us who are used to hardship and we've excelled at you know being contented in whatever state we find ourselves in it's going to be much easier for us to maneuver through this 12 year cycle and so like child's birth for the yonder dogs it's just going to be like a breeze because we already know how to live in a, a frequency or a state of lack. And we've gotten so used to or accustomed to it that there's no fear. Okay? So it's just, you know, what it is. You got to get used to changes and stop being so caught up in public images, pub, public, um, in, in your reputations and and pop popular opinion because that's really what stresses people out trends and you know um what's popular what's not people's opinion it's just just not important you see a lot of these you know celebrities before they got to celebrity you know um positions you know they 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 were wannabes they wanted to wear the balenciagas the versaces the the gucci all of that and then once they you know they seemingly make a name for themselves they start wearing some you know what you call poor people fashion or fashion that they got from the thrift store the dollar store and stuff like that they start you know making their own brands it's not even about them wearing Balenciagas and them stuff again, or um, Louis Vuittons or Gucci or you know Versace, you know, and them stuff. It's not it's not about that anymore. So why don't just be like that from the get go? Why you gotta make a name for yourself or seemingly make a name for yourself before you start wearing thrift store stuff? Wear that shit before, you know. I mean, like that thing that they said at um, that thing that um, ASAP Rocky he wore to the Met Gala was the Met Gala because I don't really I don't really dabble in the celebrity lifestyles I know them by their frequencies and their energies but not by following them or watching them you feel me but I opened my my browser and I just saw this thing on my front page home page where it said um the thing the um the quilt that he wore for his Met Gala I believe it was um outfit the, the the quilt he wore over his, his clothing um he got it the person who, who who um groomed them got it from a thrift store now i don't know how much money he paid that person to style him but that person paid a little money for that um quilt and the person who saw it who's um their, their grandmother grandmother was the one who made it and they, um, I think they actually donated it to um, the thrift store or something like that. And they were selling it at the thrift store, I guess, for maybe, um, what do you call that again? Um, the words are coming so slow. Like, people are not going to be the smartest, smartest during this 12-year cycle. And I realize that it's not a very smart cycle and that's why a lot of people are going to get scammed but i'm smart nonetheless i still am smart and so you have to really think 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 properly before you make certain decisions before you sign certain um before you sign certain contracts or agreement forms because it's a very slow period of thoughts they come very slow it's the truth People, they be moving faster than they're thinking, and that's the truth. So you have to be careful. It's a very, very, you know, dangerous time, but um, a very, very beautiful time at the same time. But um, I believe it was for some, um, man, why isn't that coming to me? Let me just think, let me just think. some benefit thing where in which I guess they were like um selling the stuff to for a form of uh, to sponsor what a, a specific cause I'm trying to remember that word but whatever okay um y'all know what I mean okay but like I was talking to somebody the other day and I use a word and the person they thought they were con uh, 
uh, correcting me and I didn't say anything to them because I'm not arrogant and I realized the person they're very arrogant because I said to the person I texted the person I don't like to impose and then the person they responded to me as though they oh they were so right I was like you mean imposing I mean like how how do you think I mean like I was like I saw it and I was like how do you say I don't like to impose I don't like to be imposing that doesn't make any sense it means what it means I don't like to impose me I don't I don't like to be forceful okay and I was like okay you think you're so smart blah 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 i didn't even say anything guys i didn't even say anything because a lot of times i realized you no know, men were of african descent and no offense no offense i'm just saying men who are of african descent because some of them they don't think they are that's the honest truth a lot of these biracial people males and females they don't well the truth is they are not african descent they are biracial for real but they tend to neglect the african ancestry in them and you know they more cling to the other race that they're mixed with whether it be indian caucasian chinese japanese and it just makes them so arrogant because i feel like it's like the african ancestry in them that makes them want to cling because of the history of self-hate that makes them want to cling to the you know other race that they they got in them and they just you know they just you know they get this has got this arrogance to them a lot of them do and it's the truth but overall a lot of uh you know black people you tend to have a, a lot of arrogance where you think that you're right and nobody else is right and that's it it's, it's, it's that's not it you know sometimes you just have to leave people to correct themselves because you may say that you're co correcting someone or make a move to correct someone and at the end of the day you make yourself look like a complete idiot because that's what he did like the honest truth as simple as that is people that's a huge turn off for me as simple as that is like some people would say oh you're too picky I, I could it could have been in a relationship a long time but my standards are high and um i don't want someone who's arrogant because that's narcissism right there and you're gonna give me a lot of tit for tat and that's something that a bitch does that's the honest truth no offense to anybody but i don't respect a man who has this tit for tat mentality that's like you're a bitch and you know just i don't i'm not into the two bitches being together because like i told y'all i'm not homo i'm hetero okay mm -hmm. That's something, if I'm in a relationship with a woman, that's okay. But I can't be in a relationship with a man and I be getting the tit for tat. Now, might as well I get with a woman. You feel what I'm trying to say? But I, no, I want a man because I want someone who acts masculine and who isn't so um, emotional and stuff like that, but still, you know, you know, expresses his feelings and his emotions, but has more control over them you know we know the feminine energy rules emotions cancer frequency men are supposed to be harder capricorn frequency don't be bitchy and all of that that's a huge turn off and i i've been dismissing people like so quickly so rapidly so often you know especially as recently because my my taste has changed my standards have increased and i'm not in a rush because i'm doing something for myself and I'm, I know I'm good at what I do. I'm not expecting some man to, you know, look after me or take care of me. And that's the good thing about building your own shit. Okay? You don't need anybody. Okay? Yeah. I have independence of character. And pretty soon, whatever it is I'm, do, I'm doing is going to, you know, bring in rewards and stuff. I know that for a fact. Even if people, they don't fucking like me, it doesn't matter because... I know what's gonna come next. I know what's gonna happen next. You don't have to like me. I'm a businesswoman. I'm not doing this for likes. Okay? I do this because I love this. Period. Dot.
zero percent friendship a hundred percent business that's my business sky goddess infinity inc sky news stargazing yeah every aspect every every aspect of my business is an umbrella like i've been saying for the longest while on my social media platforms okay and that's the importance of being you know starting your own thing as a woman you don't have to get with any man a disrespectful man a bitchy tit for tat man you don't have to settle for them or settle with them you don't okay so i just like i didn't argue with him i just left him like there and you know but i know i was correct i know i was right but I realize he has this very snobbish, um, absurd, you know, very arrogant nature about him. That's a huge turn off. I like my men humble. Detach from your emotions. When you're so emotional, you, you're just too much of a bitch to me. And if I'm going to get with you and you're like that, I, I, I rather get with a woman. You feel what I'm trying to say? And who knows, maybe I may eventually, you know, become a homosexual. But like I don't I, I I don't I wouldn't title myself a homosexual. I, I just consider myself right now pansexual. You know, anybody who's, you know, um mature enough or in my, you know, you know frequency, that's good enough for me. Yeah. Male or female. But I've never seen a woman or, you know, come across a woman who I'm attracted to who I, I be in a relationship with. You feel what I'm trying to say? Yeah. And so I, 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 I tell myself I'm hetero, you know, because I still have that, you know, attraction for the opposite sex. But it's pretty much I'm overall a pansexual. I, it's just, it doesn't matter who you are because I'm non-judgmental. -jud I'm non-judgmental, period. That. But a lot of these men, they're too fucking bitchy, man. The cancer frequency is, you know, um, in disarray. It's not where it's supposed to be. It's in, you know, the, the, the whole, you know, it's just, these men, they're just too, too many bitchy men. I just, it's just, it's just six my stomach. I just, I'm not even that emotional as a woman. I just, I just don't know why they're so tit for tat. Like, uh, and it's, it's just a, it's, it's, it's a life experience. I can't wait for Saturn to go direct. I can't wait for Pluto to go direct. I mean, like, I'm tired of seeing these, these same ninjas i just want to see i know it's gonna change pretty much i won't be seeing men like them anymore they won't be coming my way i won't be you know backing up into them or coming across them they're just gonna be left behind me way 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 in the fucking back and i'm just gonna be you know in the front yeah i'm just gonna be in the front you feel what i'm trying to say so um moving on to a different class of men you know, men who's, who's got standards, men who, they are in that masculine energy, men who are just pretty much um, men. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. So, yeah, I am looking forward, forward to Saturn, you know, going direct. Um, and Pluto as well. I, I did say Saturn goes direct October um, 10. And Pluto, that's like two days from now, October 6th yay all praises man so i'm gonna leave you right there guys um just don't accept mediocre don't think that because a lot of women they're with men that they don't really like them but they just want to say that somebody wants them or you know they're you know attractive it's, it, i mean like we can all have somebody okay but it's you know with somebody you're gonna have on your arm you know or you're, you're gonna which somebody's arm are you gonna be on you know that's what really matters because if you're on a fool's arm or you got a fool on your arm you don't got anybody i mean it would have been better if you had nobody as a matter of fact yeah so i'm not in a rush guys so namaste love you guys